I am Anil Kumar sharing with you one of the test problems on law of sines and cosines. Find the value of x in the given triangle. So here we have an isosceles triangle. You can see these two sides are equal. We are given one of these equal sides as 6. Interior angle for a line is 68 degrees and we need to find the length x of the line inside the triangle base of the triangle is 5.9. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now when you are solving such a question you should see what you need to find and how you can find it. We need to find this value of x so to find that if it is possible we should get the value of angle opposite then we can use the sine law. However at present we are given a triangle with three sides. Uh, the three sides are 6, 6 and 5.9. As an educated guess, this is very close to 6, so these angles must be very close to 60 degrees, right? So it's a good idea to have an estimate. Now, let's apply the cosine law and find what this angle is. Let me call this angle as y for the time being. So this angle y, we can write this as cos of y is equals to a square plus b square which is 6 square plus 5.9 square minus the opposite side square divided by 2 times these two side lengths right 6 times 5.9 now you will see when it is an isosceles triangle 6 square minus 6 square is 0 and then you get 5.9 divided by 5.9 cancels out so you are left with cos of y equals to 5.9 over 6 times 2 12 correct so it simplifies to this which could be now from here we can find angle y equals to cos inverse of 5.9 over 12 right so we can use the calculator. We have second function cos inverse within brackets. Uh, they already give you brackets, okay? 5.9 divided by 12 equals to 60.59. Let me write it down. So what we get here is 60.5498. So that is the angle y, right? It is good practice to write it to four decimal places. Now, once we know this angle y, we can actually apply sine law within this triangle and find x, correct? So length x over sine y should be equal to, we know 68 degrees, so length 6 over sine of 68 degrees. So from here we can find x as equals to 6 times sine of this angle which is 60.5498 divided by sine of 68, right? So we get sine of 60.5498 times 6 divided by sine of 68 5.635 get this is equals to 5.635 so that is the length of x right so we can always round it to one decimal place since the other side is 5.9 so let me write this as 5.6 units so in this question, by combination of cosine law and sine law, we can find our answer. Hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.